Hello friends, here in this video we are going to see the problem over the bending dies. So let us start the problem. So in this problem, we have to determine the developed length of the part which is shown in the figure. And for this problem, we have to assume the value of k is equal to t by 3, where t represents the thickness of this part. So we know that in bending, there is a conversion of straight part into the core part. And uh, after bending, we have to calculate the developed length. So here the developed length means the addition of L1 plus B plus L2 that will represent the developed length. So here in this problem we have to find out the dimension L1, the dimension B that will represent the bending allowance and the dimension L2 after bending operation. So let us first of all we will see the given data. So here the value of capital H represent the 76 mm. So that will uh, this will represent the vertical height of this part 76 mm second one is the capital L which represent the horizontal length of this part 115 mm next we have the capital R which is given in the problem 3.2 mm then the thickness of this part is given 2.3 mm along with this the angle alpha is given 90 degree also the value of k we have to assume here t by 3 where t represent the thickness of this part and uh, here we have to calculate the developed length and here the developed length means we have to calculate here the dimension L1, the dimension B and dimension L2. After adding all these dimension we get here developed length. So this is what our the determined value. So in solution while calculating the developed length for the bending here we need to convert the external dimension into the internal dimension. So let us start the problem. Here we know that the formula for developed length L1 plus L2 plus B. First we will calculate the inside radius of the bend that will represent the R small r. So here the formula for small r that is inside radius of the bend is capital R minus small t. So by putting the values of capital R and the t we get the radius inside radius of the bend is 0 0.9 mm next in problem we have given k is equal to t by 3 and the value of t is 2.3 divided by 3 we get the value of k is equal to 0 0.766 next we will calculate the length l1 so formula for the length l1 which is equal to capital H minus in bracket small t plus small r. So after putting all these value we get the length L1 which is equal to 72.8 mm. Next we will calculate the length L2. So again there is formula for length L2 capital L minus in bracket t plus small r bracket complete. So after putting the dimension of capital L, the dimension of t and dimension of r we get the length L2 which is equal to triple 1.8 mm. Next we will calculate here the bending allowance which is B which is equal to formula alpha upon 360 multiplied by in bracket 2 pi in bracket r plus k bracket complete. So after putting the value of alpha is given 90 degree the value of r is given 0 0.90 mm the value of k is 0 0.7 after putting all these value we get here the bending allowance is 2.61 mm the unit of bending allowance is mm next we have to calculate the developed length and again here we know that the formula for developed length is l1 plus l2 plus b so here uh, after putting all these value l1 l2 and b we get the developed length is 187.2 to 1 mm. So this is what the determination of this problem. So here again we can say that the developed length of this part is L1 72.8 mm, B 2.61 mm and uh, L2 is 11.8 mm. So here we can say that the developed length is equal to L1 plus L2 plus B and after putting all these value we get the developed length is 187.21 mm. Thank you watching for this video.